Today, I'm going to be taking Twitch chat's best suggestions to try in Universe Sandbox. Some of them get pretty crazy. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we're going to try throwing a galaxy-sized golf ball through the Milky Way. I hope you guys enjoy. Did you guys come up with some good suggestions? Ooh, make a planet half live, half dead. So like, we could do like a tidally locked planet where half of it is alive and half of it's dead. Let's just start with random and then we can kind of terraform it and we'll put it in the, the habitable zone, which is gonna be here. Let's put life on just one side of this planet. So what I'm gonna do is planetscape it down to remove elevation. So we're kind of like digging into the planet here and we can kind of form continents. Okay, something like this. And then we fill all of these with water. If we go water, liquid, is this water? Water. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill these craters that I dug. So we're making like an oasis on this side where life will thrive. And then we need to, what's a good way to make sure no life exists on the other side? I mean, we could try to make it really cold because it's gonna be facing away from the sun, you know? Okay, yeah, that looks good, I think. I wonder if I put too much actually and it's gonna, like flow out over time oh all righty <laughs> well ah dude 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 what happened i didn't even do anything all of the water just evaporated so we have an issue where the tidally lock side is extremely hot and then the not tidally lock side is extremely cold which i mean if you think about tidally locked planets that's about what you'd expect right i think we need to not have tidally locked rotational period one day to even out the temperature. Okay, and then stabilize the temperature. Okay, it is very hot. I think we do need to move it out more. You are going to move further out and then we need to make sure it's in orbit. Auto orbit. This is gonna work, trust, trust me. You were already getting the kind of thing I was going for where half of it is life and half of it isn't. We need this thing to not have this weird atmosphere. Atmosphere mass, go back to zero. We're kind of resetting it. We need sea level, something like that looks good. But then what we can do is go on the side that's not supposed to have life and remove the water. Okay, yeah, I just want it in like the oceans that I created. Maybe we could try to get the rest of this a desert. This whole side is gonna be a desert and then this side is gonna have vegetation, ideally. I'm gonna cool it down, give it an atmosphere, one Earth's atmosphere. Oh, dude, what was, dude, <laughs> what just happened? What was that? What was that? Okay, it's scared of an atmosphere, I think. Why did it do that? Smaller atmosphere, it's only 10% the mass of Earth and about 50% the size. I do think we need a little bit of a tilt to give it seasons because otherwise the poles are just gonna be insanely cold. That should help stabilize the poles over time. So you can see the atmosphere really only shows up around the oceans, which I mean is kind of good. What's our life likelihood right now? 5%, nice, it's working. What if we put vegetation? Nothing shows up. City lights? Nothing shows up. Okay, I have an idea to make it look like there's vegetation. We go base color, custom colors. We want the high elevation to be the greens. The middle elevations, we want more of our brown colors, like the, the deserty colors back. And then low, low is like a really desert. And then what we need to do is go and lower the elevation anywhere we don't want vegetation. Okay, I'm thinking something like this. And then we can actually raise elevation over here to give it even more green. I think I need a little bit of a darker, like more like that, yeah. This is the side that will have life. And that's kind of like our continents. And then over here is gonna be completely desert. How do we feel about this? This side is all dead. This side is all life. Looks cool, right? It looks like a big like island. That island looks like Australia, I mean, kinda. There's our planet that is half habitable and half not habitable. Little Bob. Make the Earth spin 1,000 times, like a thousand times faster, or just 1,000 times. Cause that would just be like a little over three years, right? We're gonna make the Earth spin 1,000 times faster and see what happens to Earth. Okay, here's Earth. This looks a lot better than Little Bob, I think. Let's start at one day. So this is how fast Earth spins, one day per day. And now if we do this, it's 10 days per day. So one day on Earth is now only 
1.4 hours. And you can see just that is fast enough that all of the water on Earth gets pulled to the equator because of the, the, the spinning force. What's it called? Centrifugal force or the centripetal force? Which one is it? Pulls it to the equator into like this band. I'm worried if I do that again, it's going to destroy it. One day on Earth is 1.2 hours. I wonder if we can see it moving in real time now. Can we see it moving? I feel like a little bit. I liked it faster so we can see like relative. Whoa, okay. I don't know what's going on with the water there. I'm gonna slowly turn it down till it explodes. Oh, okay, so we were like right on the brink of it. You can see Earth gets pulled apart. I think the force is just so high on the equator that like the gravity is no longer enough to hold them in and it gets pulled out. So what if we speed it up even more? Will the entire planet just dissolve? You can see it's spewing all of the mass out and there it goes. We have like a core of Earth left and it still has continents or is that left over from the atmosphere? Did you see the continents there for a second? So this like core of the Earth is only 8% of its original mass. Wait, I wanted to see. Oh. Now it's not here. What? It's like an invisible orb. What? Dude, dude. <laughs> Why is there a planet, but it's like invisible? <laughs> what is this? I think the game bugged. There's not anything left. I guess it is still here because look, this rock is orbiting around something. So like the game is broken if you spin Earth to death and you can see all of the fragments shoot out like across where the equator was. Let's compare that to just exploding it. So it like spewed out all of the mass out in like this disc here. So let's do it again. Explode. Earth. Ready? Okay. Okay. That almost looked brighter. I mean, because all of the mass is going to explode at once and that doesn't shoot it into the disc. That just goes straight out. I think I like spinning it to death better. Replace the moon with Jupiter. Okay, let's try that because a lot of people don't realize is how far the moon actually is from Earth. I've seen lots of videos where people will be like, okay, if your fist is the is the the Earth, where do you think, how far do you think the moon would be? And most people think it'd be like right here, but really it's like, like, like this far. Like you can see, there's actually a good amount of distance between the Earth and the moon. No chip, it's seven feet away. It's not, it's not seven feet. I think you're a little, little bit off. Let's replace the moon. It's not going to immediately absorb the Earth, but I mean, after we play time, the, the gravity of Jupiter is going to be so strong. It's not enough to completely eat Earth yet. There's still a good amount of distance between it. But as soon as we start the simulation, Earth is going to get pulled in by the very massive gravity of Jupiter and get eaten. <laughs> Make it smaller than Earth? We could try to crush it down. Okay, so replace it with Jupiter. But if we crush it down to the mass of the moon, it would work. But I don't know if it would stay a gas giant. This would be interesting because the gas is less dense. So I think it could still be like as big as Earth. Maybe a little bit smaller. Oh, no, I think it'll be bigger than Earth. Three, two, one. Okay, so they're actually about the same size, but the density is way less. So it should orbit. I don't know if Jupiter is going to handle being this small. I think it might destroy itself because gas giants. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I thought because gas giants can't really be that small. There's not enough mass to hold in. It looks like we're left with a solid core. Does Jupiter have a solid core? Maybe, maybe a little bit. And then that will stay in orbit. Now we got a little, a little moon here. That's very, very small. It's only 2% the mass of the original moon. Okay, so that didn't work, but I do want to show you guys the, it's in here somewhere, where all the planets can fit between the Earth and the moon. Check this out. Every single planet can fit between the Earth and the moon. So here's Earth, and this is when the moon's at its furthest. Uh, yeah, and it'll fit every planet. Very cool. Make a pool ball the size of Jupiter and make Earth crash into the pool ball and see what happens. Okay, I'm down to try that one. Let's get a, I don't know, like a nine ball. Okay, here we go. Radius of Earth. So now this pool ball is as big as Earth. Like we can compare it, but we're going to want it bigger because we're going to throw Earth into it. So this pool ball now I have scaled up to be the same size as Jupiter, like an entire gas giant, the biggest planet in our system. So now we launch Earth into it. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 slow down, slow down. Like, does it still fragment the same way or does it just absorb it because I think it might just literally just eat it and there's no collision. Oh, okay, okay. We wa we gotta watch this in really slow motion. So there's already like a shock wave. And all of the water uh, is getting eaten. 
and yeah there's no collision i don't know why i guess they didn't program collisions on these objects because it just goes inside of it they only have them on planets for some reason and not these human scale objects so you can just throw stuff in and it literally just eats it what if we throw jupiter into it oh okay what was that go slower do that again okay see they just absorb into each other that is so weird can we even destroy it like what if we try to laser it galactic empire super laser is it invincible there's no way to destroy it what about a black hole i feel like a black hole's got to do it but we got to make sure the black hole isn't more massive because then it'll just suck it up so let's throw in a one solar mass black hole but we'll make it less massive so that the pool ball still has more mass because this has 2.8 jupiters so if we make this like a one jupiter black hole oh okay well it still killed it um so i guess the pool ball is not immune to black hole, even though it was less massive. I thought it was eat the black hole. So black holes are the most invincible thing. Like explode? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to try that. I want to see what happens if we try to explode the human scale object. I think it's just going to disappear. I don't think it's going to explode. Let's go. Okay, kind of. It kind of exploded, but it just disappeared and then had fragments of something. That's it. It's just gas. Interesting. Make a hammer hit Jupiter faster than light. I'm actually down to try that. Here's Jupiter. This is the hammer. We need you aimed at Jupiter like this. So it's going really slow into Jupiter right now. But if we go motion and speed right here. So it's going 17 kilometers a second, which is really fast. But we want this to be 1C, which is light speed. And we're going to need to go very slow, like way slower than real time even. We're in milliseconds per second. Oh, okay. So this is only 36 milliseconds per second. That's how fast the sledgehammer is going. That's how fast the speed of light is. If we were in real time, you wouldn't even be able to see it. It would just go immediately into Jupiter. I don't think we'll see anything immediately because it's going so fast. It'll take time for anything to really happen. There it goes. Okay. You can see right there is where it collided. That little orange dot. Now we speed up to real time. One second per second. Okay. This is real time. And you can see it starts to slowly grow. I think we need to go a little quicker. Is that it? It just like shot a ton of fragments out? I thought it would do more. We need a bigger hammer. Bigger hammer is the logical next step here. Like much bigger. Rotate. You are going to collide with Jupiter. Okay, so it's nine kilograms right now. What if we like make it a lot bigger? Okay, mass, go up, go up. This is no longer a small hammer. This is that hammer compared to Earth. Like, that ain't no small hammer. <laughs> this should have much more of an impact, right? Okay, it's moving, and this is 0.1 seconds per second. So this is much slower than real-time speed. This has to destroy Jupiter, right? Oh, dude, it actually, like, stuck into it. It stopped. It's, like, stuck in Jupiter now. Okay, wait. <laughs> Yeah, something's definitely happening. We haven't even sped up time and the entire thing is getting engulfed and the hammer hasn't even fully entered. Okay, speed up time a little more. Does the hammer ever go in or does it just have like a handle sticking out of it now? Fragments. Okay, is the hammer gonna enter completely? Yep, okay, the hammer went all the way in and Jupiter is now very, very, very hot. No way it survives this, dude. Wait, that's crazy. I thought for sure Jupiter was dead. Did it lose mass? Did anything happen to it? It lost a little bit of mass. Jupiter's being dramatic. Hey, it's not even. It literally survived that. Could you survive an Earth-sized hammer being thrown into you? Let's try one more. We need a massive hammer. Like, literally so big that there's no way Jupiter can survive. Look at that size now. This has to do something. Do the size of Saturn. Yeah, this pretty much is. It's eight Earths big. Let's compare it to Saturn. So it's like, it's getting there. No way it survives this. There's absolutely no way. This is the same Jupiter that's already been hit twice by hammers. Okay. Bro, it doesn't even sink all the way in. It just sticks out. The problem with the human scale objects is they don't ever break. They're completely solid. Like, oh, wait, it flew through it. Dude. Oh, wait, does it? What is happening? What is this? I've never seen this. This is not possible. I know. I guess that's what happens when you have an invincible hammer versus Jupiter. And Jupiter cools down and then they just what? They just are like this forever. It keeps switching from satellite orbiting Jupiter to satellite flying into Jupiter. 
Make RGB gas giant. Okay, I'm actually down for that. Someone said black hole versus the invincible hammer. Let's do that really quick. I'm gonna explode Jupiter and the hammer should survive this, right? I blew up the hammer. Okay, never mind. We're making an RGB gas giant, everybody. We need a name for this. It's gonna be RGB. Does that mean what? Like rainbow colors or literally just red, green, and blue? Okay, so like RGB is R red, green, blue. So we could literally just throw red, green, and blue on like that. But like RGB, you can make any color with, you know? Cause those are the primary colors of light. I guess we could throw in all the other colors. Like there, there you go. Make Pluto Earth moon. That's not bad. We're gonna make the moon Pluto because Pluto is actually smaller. Like people are like, Pluto should be a planet, dude. Look, it's definitely not. Here's the moon, which is a moon. This is not a planet. No one thinks the moon should be a planet, right? Here's Pluto, smaller than the moon. Pluto should definitely not be a planet. This should very easily orbit the Earth. But what I kind of want to try to do is zero the velocity. So we've done it where the moon crashes into Earth. But what if Pluto crashed into Earth? Speed, set it to zero. And then it should fly right into Earth, right? Can it make rings? Let's see. If it was going kind of like not straight into Earth, the Roche limit might help with rings. But I think since it's just going straight into Earth, it's just going to make a big collision. Fragments going into Earth, going into South America first. It's pulling off Pluto's atmosphere, I think. And there's the collision. Okay, yeah, that would be bad. I don't know if anyone's surviving this. Yeah, it goes across the entire planet. So I think that just killed everything. How well does Earth recover from this, though? Give it a couple years to recover. Does this, like, atmosphere thing ever go away? Is the atmosphere thicker now? The average temperature is way hotter. So I think it still needs time. I'm surviving? Absolutely not. Okay, life likely hit on Earth after the Pluto collision. 9%, dude. After This is after years. We're in the year 2163. Does it ever fully recover? No. So that killed Earth probably forever. Golf ball the size of Milky Way when? That's not bad. That's going to be our last suggestion for today. We're going to put the entire Milky Way in, and then we'll put a golf ball next to it. And we need to up the radius on this. How long does it take? To get to galaxy size okay well it's already bugging out radius of the sun au here we go we're getting there light years <laughs> radius of the galaxy we're getting there we're getting there it is now oh it's way bigger than the milky way dude dude look at that golf ball compared to the milky way for some reason the human scale objects are pretty much invincible so i think it'll just absorb the entire milky way let's see what happens we gotta go very fast galaxies move very slow thousands of years there goes the milky way into the golf ball see what happens Dude, whoa, the Milky Way won? Dude, the Milky Way ate it? How, where'd it go? Oh, I think it's the black hole because black holes are like the most OP thing in this game and they eat everything. So I think Sagittarius A-Star ate the, uh, ate the golf ball. So I think the tier list of invincible objects, it's like human scale is like almost invincible and then black hole is truly invincible. Black holes will destroy everything. Alrighty, that is gonna be all our suggestions for today. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe if you want to see more.